Ciao everybody, Kathy Vimy here. Welcome to my kitchen. Well, not too long ago, my husband and I were in New Orleans for a week with some friends. We had the best time. We absolutely loved it. And of course, everybody insisted that we had to go to this uh, wonderful little restaurant that uh, had beignets all day long. And we had to wait in this huge lineup. And when we got there, I said, okay, now I understand why we're waiting, why the lineup, and why our friends insisted on going there for their beignets. Absolutely delicious. I got the recipe and I'm going to share it with you. Now let's get started. So five min minutes ago, I prepared my yeast mixture. In this uh, glass container, I have one cup of hot water at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. To the water, I added one quarter cup of granulated sugar that I allowed to melt. Then I added two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. Look how beautiful it's frothing up. And I'm just going to leave it alone now for a couple of more minutes. Okay, I'm gonna prepare the dry ingredients. Here I have three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. To the flour, I'm going to add three quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay, I'm just going to give this a really good mix and I'm just going to set it aside. You can see how beautiful my yeast is. It's risen, it's alive. Now I'm just going to add this to a stand mixer. Okay, to the yeast mixture, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature and I'm gonna give it a really good mix. At low speed. Okay, here I have one egg, half a cup of milk, and I'm going to mix it together. Everything at room temperature. Now I'm just gonna give this a really good mix. I'm adding the milk and egg mixture, and I'm going to let it mix. We're ready for the dry mixture. I'm going to add half a cup at a time. I must tell you, who I am preparing this wonderful batch of beignets for. And it is of course for my Dr. Dove Weiss. I've, sp I've spoken about him many times in the past. He's my Godwink and he's the one who I credit for my sweet papa still being here today, being my sweet papa, and for taking away 30 years of shoulder pain that I had to endure, he took it away. And uh, I love this doctor and I love his staff. We are going there tomorrow to visit him uh, for an appointment with my parents. And his lovely assistant mentioned that they love beignets. That, uh, you know, she just went on and on and I, I explained to her, I bake, I make them, I, I can make beignets. And I promised uh, Dr. Dove Weiss at the Painless Medicine Clinic. So this batch is going, is going tomorrow to Dr. Dove Weiss's staff. too sticky for my liking. I'm going to add one tablespoon extra of all-purpose flour and see if that'll do the trick. Once you see the dough rising up the hook, you know it's ready. I'm just going to let the machine knead it for five minutes for me. I'd lightly buttered my bowl because I don't want the dough to stick. So all I'm going to do now is just take it out of the bowl, form it into a little ball, it's an absolutely beautiful dough. I'm just going to place it in the bowl. I'm going to cover it with uh, plastic wrap. Now I have a warming drawer that I'm going to place it in for one hour. It needs to double in size. If you don't have a warming drawer, just keep it in a nice warm spot in your kitchen. In an hour and my dough has doubled in size. It's just beautiful. A little bit of flour for my work surface, a little bit of flour on the pan where I'm going to, um, they're going to need a second rising. So all I'm going to do now is just puff it down. Okay, it's nicely deflated. Now all I'm going to do is roll it out. I'm going to try to make a 12 inch square. Don't be worried if it's not exact 
Um, I'm going to try to do um, three inch squares. Now this uh, dough recipe makes 16. So I'm going to cut it in half. I have a pizza cutter here, it works fantastic. Now this I'm also going to cut in half. And I'm going to cut across. Some pieces are going to be a little bit bigger, it's okay. There we are. Okay, I'm just going to place them on a tray here. They need uh, a 30 minute rising. My beignets have risen beautifully. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry them. Now I love these uh, fryers. If you don't have a fryer like this, a cast iron pot with a minimum of two to three inches of grapeseed oil and you set your thermometer, it should be reading 350 degrees Fahrenheit for the oil. Okay, so I'm just going to add them to the fryer two at a time, a couple of minutes on each side. And I'm going to turn them around. Look how beautiful. I'm going to say it if you could only smell my kitchen. Okay, two are ready. I'm going to take them out and put, place them on some paper towel just for a second. Just for a mere second. And in the icing sugar, they go nice and hot. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, beautiful. My beignets for Dr. Dove Weiss is staff for tomorrow are ready. I think they're going to love them and enjoy them. I don't think they'll miss just one. I'm going to taste one for you. Oh, I know I say this all the time, but if you could only smell my kitchen. Mm. I'm right back in New Orleans. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. And you saw how easy they were to prepare. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It's Katerina from my home to yours. Don't forget to hit your like button and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel. Ciao! So I'm here in Dr. Uh, Dove Weiss, my Godwin, the fellow I was telling you about, and I brought the whole tray of beignets because his a beautiful assistant said that she loves them. And now we're going to see what they say once they bite into them. <laughs> and by the way, this is Dr. Weiss, the, the very handsome, the very handsome man beside is Dr. Dove Weiss. He's married with a beautiful wife and children, ladies. So forget about it. <laughs> Oh, there's enough there for your entire staff. It's the least I can do. It's on my side. Yeah.